What's up guys, Lightning of 14 here, soaring back into your everyday life with another video. And this video we're going to be going over my modified nut fender, as Boba Lola would say. And uh, so yeah, so diving right on into it, as you can tell, this is an older uh, blue variant, the older end strike night finder, or pre-end strike I want to say. But uh, anyways, and what I have done to it is for, as you can probably tell from the front, I've rebarreled it with a Crayola marker um, for a little bit better, tighter air seal. I also upped the spring substantially. It now has a, I don't even know what kilogram it is, it's some random spring I found at Goodwill, but it's a pretty beefy spring. I, I guess that it's equivalent to a K26, but uh, I don't actually know because I don't have any K26 on hand to compare it with. But so yeah, it's packing stronger spring. I also uh, rebarreled it and uh, re-greased the internals a little bit to get them working just a little bit smoother. And that's pretty much all I did. I also added a little bit of uh, clear tubing on the plunger, and that's just because the the spring that I the with the way it is, it's cut on both ends because I've already used a couple of pieces of it, so it doesn't have the flat ends, so it was slipping off of the plunger actually was bad so we have to fix that and uh, I guess now we'll show you some chrono readings all right we're going to be using my fancy schmancy chrono barrel that I recently picked up it sees that on screen there yes it is and here's one 85 let's do another one I've gotten a couple that have read over 90. Let's make sure that's in frame. You guys can see it. Oh, is that showing up? 83. It's not showing up. Focus. 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 There we go. Let's do another one. A little bit of a looser dart. And 87. I had a few that were over 90. Let's see if we can get another one of those. And focus. Oh, that one was 70. Might have hit the inside. Let's try another one. Focus. There we go. That's 84. And one more. Focus. There we go. 75. We'll do one more. Come on. There we go. And 75.3. So in between 70 and 90 FPS. So building this was pretty straightforward. All it took was um, Really just to swap out the spring and uh, swap out the catch spring and then uh, hot glue on the marker to the front of the plunger tube. I'll throw up an internal picture right now so you can see what that looks. But internally, night finders are really, really simple and really anyone could do this. That's why night finders are recommended usually as people's first mod. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's shooting fairly hard. I think I could get a little bit better if I maybe increased the seal with a better o-ring or something and uh, maybe had a bit longer barrel or something like that but um, for now I think it's pretty good and I'm very happy with how it turned out only thing I need to do is orangeify the tip somehow add like orange tape or maybe orange paper or something on there just as a general safety precaution but um, and maybe add some paint later down the road and also maybe swap out the crappy little LED laser pointer thing with an actual flashlight. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed or thought it was interesting. If you're considering doing a first mod, uh, I would highly recommend doing a night finder as they're internally incredibly simple. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you thought it was interesting or enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.